an interesting combustion reaction has been presented to you. So we have so this reaction right here. How much heat do we generate from using 0 0.9 kilograms of C2H6? They give us a molar mass and they tell us to round the answer to the one. All right, so let's write all of these givens out. <clears throat> so we have, I like to always write the reaction itself. So two C2H6 plus seven O2. So this goes in both directions. So carbon dioxides, water, and we have some heat there at the end. Now next, they give us 0 0.9 kilograms of C2H6, and they also give us a molar mass of 30 grams, and this is C2H6, for each mole. And I always like to write it not as a unit rate as it is here, but instead kind of looks like a ratio as I written it down. So it helps me to do the unit cancellations when I'm solving. So with this given information, let me just define what I'm looking for. So let, and again, I'm getting this from right here, this heat. So let, now heat is energy, so let E be the heat generated. And notice that from the equation, they are using kilojoules there. So generated, and this will be in kilojoules. All right, so let's work through this out. Now, I'm going to step through these givens with you. So we have the reaction, and then we have the C2H6. But notice that it is in kilograms. And that is actually not consistent because our molar masses are in grams. But kilo is just a prefix. Okay, so I'm going to change that prefix to just be in grams so that I have consistency there. So kilo, so this would move over three spots, one, two, and three. So this is 900 actually grams of C2H6. And now I have grams and I'm consistent with that mass unit. So if I write energy equals, so I always start with the given and that given has the single unit in these reactions, which is this one right here. I'm gonna just circle this around. So I have 900 grams of C2H6 that I'm going to begin with. Now, I don't want to have, obviously, grams of C2H6, so I want to cancel this off. So I'm going to proceed with these cancellations. So I have grams on top, so I will want to put it on the bottom, so grams of C2H6, so that these two cancel, and now I notice that my last given right there so this one is 30 grams and we put the mole of c2h6 on top so they always come as a pair so if you put one of them at the bottom the other one will have to go on top so that cancels my grams of c2h6 but i have the problem that now i have moles of c2h6 which i don't want Remember, we are solving for energy. So I'm going to, again, cancel this. And 
I'm going to put the moles of C2H6 at the bottom. But the only thing that I can use now is my reaction. So I'm going to find C2H6, which is right here. Remember, the number in front just tells you how many moles you have. So that I have two. And then from the reaction, I have to pick one more item because I have to place it on top in the empty spot. Since I don't have any more givens, um, I do know that I am trying to find heat in kilojoules. And that's the reason from that reaction, I'm going to be taking this 3,120. So 3,120 kilojoules. All the other ones don't really count for me. And that means I have used all my givens. Notice the moles of C2H6 cancel, and I am left with kilojoules, which is exactly what I wanted. So I can compute this. I will take all the numbers on top that I have here. So 900 times 1 times 3,120. So let me do that. 900 times 1 times 3,000. 120. I'll hit equals. So that's what I get on top. But now, of course, I have to divide this by all the numbers. So I like to put them in brackets. So that is 30 and then the 2. So 30 times 2. I'm doing the division. And I get that my energy is equal to 46,000. 800 and the unit was kilojoules and that completes this question so i hope that you found this useful thank you for watching